What is going on guys? This is Joe Young coming at you with another video today. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 favorite nano fish for fresh water. Alright, so starting with number 5. Number 5 goes to the pea puffer. So the pea puffer is actually a freshwater fish. It's actually super small puffer fish. You know, so when you're thinking of puffer, a lot of you guys are probably thinking about saltwater puffer fish. So this freshwater puffer fish is actually only about 1 inch and it loves eating snails. So if you have an infestation of snails, this is the fish for you guys. I really just like the size of the puffer fish and also the character of the puffer fish. It's an absolute interesting fish if you ever get a chance to keep one. Alright, so going to number four. Number four will go to the white clouds. The white clouds is a super underrated little fish. It's super, super cute. It has a really nice bright red on the tips of its fin and a nice little line down the body. So the white cloud is actually a minnow fish. So under that family, it's actually a cold water fish. So temperatures are normally around 72 to keep it ideal. Other than that, they're super hardy and they're super cool. All right, so number three, I'm pretty sure everyone has kept this before, but the Cardinal Tetras slash Neon Tetras. So the reason why I put both of them as number three is because sometimes people mix them up. So the Neon Tetras is pretty much the exact same as the Cardinal, except for the red on the body it does not go across completely to the actual end of the fin. With the Cardinals, the red actually continues from the mouth all the way to the actual tail. Now also with the Cardinals, they are slightly a little bit bigger than the Neon Tetras. Uh, through experience, I've noticed that the Cardinals tends to be a lot redder than the Neon Tetras. But overall, the blue is about the same and they're both great little nano fish. All right, so going on to number two. Number two is one of my personal favorite fish. I'm a little biased because I do keep the fish currently, and that is the chili rasboros. This is actually one of the first nano fish that I've noticed that is very, very red. The red is really dark and covers really the whole body of the fish. Now the bright red fish are usually the male, and the duller fish is the female. They're a great schooling fish, and they actually only grow about one inch. So they're really ideal for small tanks, and even if you get a larger tank, you can get a nice big school of them. All right, so number one. Number one goes to the Celestial Pearl Danios. So what makes this fish number one for me? The actual fish itself has really, really nice, bright colors to them. The actual pattern on the fish is really unique with kind of like an orange spot, uh, along with a red-orange tail fin which makes the color absolutely stunning. Now these fish are schooling fish as well. They, they tend to do a lot better in groups of six or more and they grow only about uh, one and a half inch um, in size. All right guys, so that's my top five favorite nano fish in the freshwater hobby. Let me know what your favorite five is. Leave it in the comments below. And until next time guys, peace.